coming up in this read. You're generating a lot of success because you believe deep down you can do it. I mean, you're already doing it. Leo, let's do your November general reading. You know the drill. Flip it, reverse it, take it or leave it. It's all good. Any important information that you need, you can find it in my description box and in my pinned comment below, including details on how you can book a private reading as well. And please do ensure that you subscribe to stay notified if you enjoy my content. Okay, so Leo, for the month of November, your first card out is the cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. So we like this one. Um, divine protection. Ooh, and wealth. Beautiful. With the purse. Pay attention to your finances. Okay, so you're off to a really good start then, Leo. What's under there? The rainbow. Nice. The most difficult part of a situation is over. So at the moment, yes, a lot of people are struggling financially. Um, there's nothing completely unusual about your particular timeline in that respect. Um, and of course, the it, I, I don't imagine it's going to get any easier for at least the next six to nine months. It looks, though, Leo, like your financial recovery is going to be a lot sooner than that six to nine month time scale. Okay. Um, you've got a lot of wealth here. Now, wealth, of course, it's open to interpretation. It could be purely financial wealth, or it could be wealth of other kinds, such as, you know, knowledge, um, lots of different types of wealth, a wealth of love, a wealth of meaning, a wealth of purpose. For the majority though, I do feel that this is heavily leaning towards the financial side of things, okay? So still, obviously, yes, yeah, still be careful with your finances, still be sensible, you know, don't, don't go out and blow everything. Um, still hold back on unnecessary purchases. And yeah, I'm going to clarify this and see where that wealth is coming from for you. Um, but for the most part, though, the financial worries, you're going to be able to put them firmly behind you. OK, you then have the sun, happiness and well-being. So again, we like that one. The handshake, uh, a meeting with a stranger could be important and a broken bridge. A broken bridge has been coming out a lot this month. Um, even though this deck is completely shuffled right after it's been used on the previous reads, it's come out for, I think it was Taurus, it came out for Cancers, and now it's come out for you as well. So a repeating theme for basically everybody this month is everybody <clears throat> is really analysing their life in a much different way. And they're cutting ties specifically with people who are just not for them anymore, that there's a lot of people um, where their mask is slipping and folks are cutting ties with them because they're seeing what is behind the, the persona that they put to, you know, the, the, the persona that they pretend to be, basically. Um, so, you know, a lot of narcissistic people um, their, their masks are slipping and everybody's seeing them for who and what they, they are underneath that. Uh, so yeah, a lot of ties for a lot of people are being cut this month. Um, and underneath that when you've got the announcement. Yep. Um, it does say unsuccessful outcome to a problem. I wouldn't worry so much about that, okay? I don't feel that it's something personally that, that you're trying to achieve that you're not going to achieve. I don't feel that, that it's about that at all. I feel strongly more so that this is about everyone cutting ties with narcissistic individuals. So it's hiding underneath that one. Oh, the basket and the rainbow. Okay. Yeah, we did, we did take a look under that one already, didn't we? But for whatever reason, I felt this urge to 
take another peek. Uh, recognition and reward for merit, exactly. So it's confirmation there, isn't it, of what I just said about that broken bridge. Leo, like your plans, they are going to be successful. This is going to be about difficult individuals, drama fueled individuals. Who, they are the ones whose plans are going to be unsuccessful. I mean, you've, you've got confirmation double in fact, double confirmation of that. OK, uh, underneath there, you've got the clouds, temporary problems. Exactly. Now, this row is going to be your uh, guidance or your potential outcome. So we'll come to that in a second. I don't want to jump too far ahead because um, I, I like there to be a nice, easy flow to, to the reads rather than me jumping back and forth. OK, so. Uh, let's find out what's going on with this wealth, because it's indicating that you've got some kind of payment here that's coming in towards you. OK, uh, three of coins and the five of wands. Interesting combination. Again, like cancers literally just got this exact combination that came out as well. It is really weird because I completely sage my area after every read. I pre-shuffle all of the decks before I do another read and I have a break in between as well. So, I mean, for, for you to get the same cards that, that come out, but also in the exact same... Um, sequences each other as well it, it like the chances of that happening are quite low let's just put it that way um so i mean possible you could be dealing with a cancerian or you've got cancerian placements in your own chart similar energy like eerily similar and i, th I think as well the cancerians had a similar read to the taurus collective as well so that there are definitely running themes per month that happen throughout these reads. Right, so anyway, these finances, something that you're doing about your work, okay, with the three of coins. Um, it could be some kind of collab with individuals, but you've got drama here as well. Why? Thank you, five of wands. Drama's coming to an end, a victorious end at that, would that be in the world? The world is a card of victory, okay. Uh, a reason to celebrate the, the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. It could well be, Leo, that the chapters in your life that, that you've been trying to pull yourselves out of was surrounding the, this feeling of never having enough finances, you know, always barely just scraping by. And th this is the big change that, that you're seeing. Um, you're no longer going to struggle for resources you know again with that word wealth it just means resources so whatever the word wealth and resources means specifically for you for some it could be money for others it could be other things okay take it as it resonates but the message here is you're no longer going to be struggling for resources all right and yeah you're being protected let's find out what this is Can you tell us about the cobweb please oh it's weird the way your cards are coming out because they're, they're coming out from behind the deck rather than actually jumping. You've got the Wheel of the Year, which is the Wheel of Fortune. Exactly. I did say it was a victorious, a victorious closing to an, a specific chapter in your life. Clarified with the wheel, wheel of Fortune. You do have the Ten of Wands here as well. Right. Um... Now, I feel that this Ten of Wands is current energy because the, because of that Wheel of Fortune. It's like, like your struggles, you feeling like you're trying to claw your way up this impossible mountain, you know, energetically speaking. It's that that's coming to an end. Like, you deserve success and success you shall have. And it's coming to you specifically through your own three of coins so that's your own hard work your own dedication your own perseverance as well uh, it's like the, the universe is meeting you halfway do you know what i mean and it's taking you straight into this sun energy 
which is your happiness and your well-being uh, feelings of accomplishment feelings of yeah that that struggle it was difficult but it was also worth it as well let's find out about this stranger that you're likely to meet can you tell us about the handshake for leo please um i feel this handshake is some kind of business deal feels very contractual you can tell us about the handshake for leo please okay ace of swords the nine of cups and the magician again yeah it, it's that magician it's like because of the hard work and the dedication that you specifically have put in you are being rewarded handsomely nine of cups your wish fulfillment um there there could be a temptation for you to maybe perhaps overindulge a wee bit with that nine of cups um but i do see that you're going to keep yourself on the straight and narrow um i i'm not seeing that you're going to allow you it, it's like um you're not going to become a victim of your own success if that makes sense so it's like while you're cutting ties <clears throat> with certain individuals they could try and turn the tables on you and say oh you're only doing that because now you think you're you're hot shit and this that and the next you are hot shit but that's not the point like they're, they're going to try and make out that you're cutting ties with them because you seem to have this idea in your head that you that you're bigger and better than them and then you know what i mean like ego based stuff and that's that's not what's behind your intent at all um, you're protecting yourself. You're making sure that, that you're not going to be used and that you're not going to be taken advantage of. Um, and again, like, were you keeping yourself on that straight and narrow? You know full well that um, successful people, of which you either are right now or you very soon will be incredibly successful, successful people need to ensure that they are surrounding themselves with individuals who are going to help keep them on the straight and narrow. You know, like, so you're not going to surround yourself with this echo chamber, you know, because that, that will play too much into the situations that you see playing out where people seem to think that they can just get away with anything and everything because they're surrounded by this echo chamber and they can do no wrong and they're sat in the next and everybody's too afraid to tell them when you know when when they're uh stepping out of line almost you're more sensible than that like you've got a really good head on your shoulders so this success it's not going to go to your head you're not going to have to worry about um becoming one of those um do you know what i mean like one one of those who who is really arrogant about their own success it, it it's not like that at all um the, this handshake it feels like a deal of some kind is going down like you're going to be offered something that is really really good you are going to have to put pen to paper and sign your name to something here um and it is going to make you very very happy like really happy for those of you who've got a family well it's going to make your family happy too and it's really um, reinforcing that message about this wealth for some of you where that was about financial gain, financial wealth. Um, yeah, that that is really going to be like it's not going to be an answer to all of your problems, but it's certainly going to help. That's what I'm saying with that. And at the end of it all, it's because of you the magician it's because of you as above so below as within so without which basically means that that you have manifested your internal world which was this sun energy you've manifested your internal world and your internal feelings into your external reality that that's what that phrase means as within so without as without so within and then it bounces back then doesn't it to that as without so within 
Uh, that's why you're paying super close attention to the other people around you and making sure that you're surrounding yourself with individuals who actually do have your back and, and who are not going to be too afraid to put forth their opinion or, you know, to help keep you on that straight and narrow. Yeah, you, like you're taking that magician energy super, super seriously. And it's really funny to me, Leo, because for the past six months, I've recognized the pattern of the magician fairly consistently coming out in your read. It's like a lot of you are taking the laws of alchemy really, really seriously. And quite rightly so. And you, you have seen the legit benefits of living your life with those laws alchemy rules like you're seeing a lot of success through it now as well as within so without as without so within like for real ace of swords and nine of cups through this handshake is absolutely incredible you're really <clears throat> generating uh you're generating a lot of wealth you're generating a lot of success because you believe deep down you can do it. I mean, you're already doing it. You, you have done it. Okay, so in your outcome or advice column is the gavel, involvement with the law, swiftly followed by December. Okay, and that one, urgh, can't pick it up. And that one is swiftly followed by the broken ring. Parting of the ways in either romance or business. Exactly. So this December, for those of you where this is about some kind of business, it is likely that a contract is being signed off. So it's like a contract is being complete. You're probably going to have to prepare yourself to go to a courthouse to get this old contract dealt with and the new contract signed. OK, um, it's definitely parting of the ways with somebody here come December. And it, it, it does feel business like it really does. Um, I'm, I'm hearing that somebody had you over a battle. And you couldn't really move. You couldn't really make your own decisions and this, that and the next because you were tied into something with them. That's what's being severed in December. OK. And for a lot of you, yes, in the legal sense of the word. All right. Really, really interesting. Clouds, temporary problems and then time to go out and have fun with the grapes underneath that one. Yeah. So anybody dealing with legal situations. Like, that's about as clear cut as, as I can possibly make it, okay? Anyone dealing with a legal situation, there's going to be a total resolution to that come December. Perfect Christmas gift for some of you as well, because it means then that you're free to go out, have fun, and start making connections or new contracts with other people. Yeah. Wow. That was... Uh, Pretty straightforward. Have a healing message, please, for Leo. Oh, okay. Top two. Electric seal. Electric seal. Electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. And the bat spirit. A rebirth is assured. Wow. Okay. So <clears throat> straight away, I can I can give you this one without the in-depth message from the book. We're going to take the bat spirit for the fill in-depth message. This one's the magician. So, yeah, it, it's not going to be any surprise to a lot of you that you've got the magician now that's come out and you read twice. Bring your ideas to life. That's exactly what the word manifesting means. It's bringing your ideas to life. Um, so any idea that you have, Leo, you have to know that it's not a stupid idea. Your ideas are certainly very, very different from everybody else's, but that doesn't mean to say that they're stupid ideas. OK, so have that confidence to 
uh, follow the path of your own ideas and see where the fuck it is that they lead. Okay. Right, and number five, the bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. It's beautiful. After something has run its course and died or has been released, finished or surrendered, completed or ended, there is a promise of a new beginning. Mm -hmm. Rebirth is assured just as night gives way to dawn and the bat emerges from the darkness of a womb-like cave. Bat spirit has come to remind you that this rebirth is a miraculous one for the very elements of what you had to give up in the death of the old are still present in this new amazing life that's forming right now. This is the miracle and magic of rebirth in every aspect of your life, including the rebirth of a faith in your ability to establish new and healthy relationships. Bat spirit reminds you that at present you're in unknown territory and you may feel as if you're lost. However, you're called to trust that your intuition will be a reliable guide as you give birth to something new and unfamiliar. Bat spirit has listened in the darkness of night and has heard all of your hopes and dreams, your fears and worries, and assures you that this new version of your dream, this move from darkness into light, from lost to found, and death to rebirth, comes to fruition with love at its core. Bat spirit asks for you to trust that what seems to have died is actually shape-shifting into something even more meaningful and wondrous than before. If you feel that you're in the dark, then know that come morning, all will be revealed and things will be in a new form that is right for you. What is it you're refusing to let die? Bat spirit is gently nudging you to let go of your need to cling to the familiar story that has already run its course. A new story is poised to be born. Some dreams were only meant to last for a moment in time. Sometimes they were only there to slow you down as you re-collaborated in preparation for a new life that will give you what it is that you really want. Perhaps you need to grieve as you say goodbye to something. At least you're saying goodbye to its familiar form. Perhaps you must let go of a part of you that must die so that you can be reborn. This temporary time in the dark doesn't have to be scary or sad. Bat spirit gives you her powers of perception and awareness as you learn to listen deeply and navigate these unknown caves of temporary emptiness. You will emerge with a new perspective and bat spirit will witness you giving birth to the life that matches the intentions and desires of your heart and soul. I love that. Yeah, that is, that's a really powerful message, Leo. Like th this is your rebirth moment. Um, so a lot of you felt for a while that you were just like banging your head up against a brick wall, not really getting anywhere, things weren't really moving, but you persevered nonetheless. And through that sheer perseverance, this is now what's coming in, the start of your brand new life. It's very, very powerful. Um, a lot of unknowns as well. Because it's like you can definitely feel that uh, something's shifting, but you might not be able to articulate it. Um, because that that's the funny thing. It's like what that 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 shift that you're feeling, it is beyond human language. So yeah, trust in it is pretty much about all you can do at the moment else please for Leo oh two of them okay <laughs> You're the only person qualified to define your own version of success. Do not compare your win with someone else's. To think one is worth to think one is worse or better than another is the chatter of the ego. 
We're all equal and our success is for all, not just for one. Think of your little wins as universal high fives, bringing positive energy to whoever might be affected from your achievements. So you're taking a lot of people with you then um, on your little journey of success. Um, it, it it's not just you that's going to be super successful leo there's uh a couple of people that that you're going to be taking with you mm. huh. you've made it through so many tough times in your life to get to where and who you are in this moment and you will get through these tough times too trust me for i'm the tough times tiger and i know my shit i'm wearing a monocle so i must be legit grab your monocles you badass bitches you got that tiger blood in you are you still here yes know how you're still here no does it fucking matter? All I'm saying is you've got this. Be fierce if necessary, raw, per, whatever it takes, as tomorrow is one step further out of the tough. Yeah, um, th that's the, the strange thing about this read, Leo, is even though, even though it's a difficult situation and somebody has, in a lot of ways, got you over a battle, although not for much longer, Compared to the other things that, that you've been through, this is small beans. Do you know what I mean? It's like Spirit saying here, look, you've been through way worse and, and you got through those situations. Just hang on for a wee bit. You're going to get through this too. And what's meeting you, well, what's meeting you is this incredible success, wish fulfillment. Um happiness contentment uh completion of sorts because what what happens after this particular cycle's closed out is you you're actually going to be enjoying the rest of your life you know it, it sounds cheesy but that's what's coming out when you read mm. okay so that is what i have for you leo if you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading that is more catered towards your own specific needs, then you can place your book in at phoenixkiatarot.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.